I'm here to talk about the tomb of George Mackenzie, a spot associated with supernatural... What was that? That doesn't matter, probably nothing. Where was I? Tomb of George Mackenzie... Oh, yeah. A spot associated with supernatural activity. Let's have a look and see if there's any truth to this myth. George Mackenzie was a Lord Advocate, a minister responsible for the persecuting policy of King Charles II in Scotland against the Presbyterian Covenanters. After the Battle of Bothwell Bridge in 1679, Mackenzie imprisoned around 1,200 Covenanters in a field across from this very courtyard, many of whom Mackenzie executed, many more died of maltreatment. It was his ruthless, merciless attitude that earned him the nickname Bloody Mackenzie. Bloody, of course, being Scottish, for a bloody. Oh look, there's his tomb. The first documented tale of strange activities takes place on a cold and rainy night back in December 1998. A homeless man broke into this very mausoleum in order to seek shelter from the rain. He began searching his surrounding areas for valuables. He broke open the iron gate on the floor and descended down into a second chamber. There he found four wooden coffins. He began breaking these caskets open in order to find hidden treasures. As he did so, the floor beneath him began to crumble. He fell into a previously undiscovered third chamber where a lot of dead corpses had been illegally dumped. He was last seen fleeing from the area amidst his cries of terrors. This homeless man was never to be seen again. Soon after, tours began in the prison area and also Mackenzie's mausoleum, and there have been a number of reports of strange phenomena occurring, including people being scratched, attacked, feeling sick, and even people waking up with marks in their body the following day. So that was the story of Mackenzie's supernatural mausoleum. But as interesting as it is, I just don't buy it. I mean, supernatural activity. There's a logical explanation for everything that happens. Till next time, I've been Aaron Emery.